Hey guys, it's me, Caitlin. This is the very first time she rode this four-year-old. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> the horses, the horses are standing in the field staring at us like it's a lunch. <laughs> he knows rolling, but you guys, they've been running across the field. So the horses have been running in the field the last few days because it's been like spring, just galloping. And Chino, wow, looks incredible. It's fresh. He looks better than ever. I keep missing the footage though because I never expect it. I'm gonna try and get it the next time I go out, but Ooh, I'm gonna go can you get Penny and we're gonna do our training. I wanted to tell you guys that my friend lost a horse today and I've just been crying and crying over it because when you've lost a horse, like you can never forget what it feels like. You, you never forget. I just am heartbroken for her and he was older and he lived a good life with her and just was so unexpected and so sudden and that ugh, makes it so much harder, at least if you expect it and you know it's coming. But oh, to any of you guys who have lost horses this year or any year ever, like, just know that ugh, all us horse people, we get it, we know how hard it is. But yeah, so keep her in your prayers if you guys are praying people because it's hard when you lose a horse. But anyway, let's go get Penny and See if she'll go on the trailer. Well, hello, little mini girl. <laughs> one fun fact about Willow, she does not like her mane being brushed. She doesn't like her mane being brushed. Well, Sylvia had it in a ponytail, but it needs to be brushed. I know, I did brush her mane. All right, so my plan now. She has this bad, thick pony mane. My plan now, we are locked in the trailer. I'm just gonna hang out here for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm just gonna wait until Penny settles. So she's not as bad as she was when I first got her, but she wants Willow to just back out when she wants things. to back out. So I, I wanna like her to get trapped in here and get used to it and learn to like just relax in here. She's looking, she's like, what is that thing behind my bum that's preventing me from going out? Willow's just a good girl. Yeah, let's see her. Do you know we get so many comments every single day of people who saying like, what happened to Willow's nose? Like why does she have a broken nose? Why is her nose crooked? But it's not. Her nose is perfectly good. It's just that her stripe is crooked. And I love crooked striped ponies. Do you know why? Why do I like crooked striped ponies? I love them. I love them too because I like anything that's, that makes you different. Everything that makes somebody different is what I love. All right, while we're waiting, I want to look for my lead rope. I've lost a lead rope. Is it that one that's right there? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. All right, that's the one that I really want. You guys hear the wind? That's weird. Good girl. Yeah, she, all of our horses, ex every one of our horses except for Penny loads perfectly. She's our only one. When we bought Penny, that was like one of the things she wouldn't get on the trailer. And then I like, she wouldn't get on the trailer. It was like, she was saying, nope, I'm not going. But it was because of the ramp The her old owner said, like she's used to a step up. She just doesn't know this. And it's like, 
taking her a long time to get used to the step up, which is so weird because I always think like horses that act like Penny, like she acts terrified. Like even now, after three days of working on the trailer, she still like crawls up the ramp, like she's afraid it's gonna fall. So you always think like horses like that have had some trauma in their past. I'm beginning to think maybe it's Penny's personality. Like she's just like Sophie and I, she's more of a nervous kind of horse. Penny, is that you again? Do you guys hear it? It sounds like our trailer has bad gas. It's the wind. <laughs> it's the wind. Well, Penny did the same thing the other day. <laughs> we think it was Penny. You're such a good girl. See how, like, she doesn't look upset. Okay, she doesn't look extremely upset. She is a little bit upset. She can't figure out why there's a bar. She can't figure out why there's a bar in the back. See? She's like, I don't understand this. Why is this happening? Why guys, can't I get out? Guys. One day I'm gonna get a trailer for just miniatures. Yeah, one day we will have miniatures in just she in the trailer. Does not fit Did you here. see the video I sent you yesterday of the mini line dancing? Yeah. So that's what we gotta teach her to do. She could do all those things. She already spins. Sometimes Honey does the like long steps with her feet. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. Alright. Alright, we're gonna back up. Okay. Off her blanket and walking her in again. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. <laughs> Gino and Penny kissing over the fence. Well, touch the fence, get electrocuted. <laughs> and Gino's gonna follow. Feels so good to take off their blankets. I've seen TikToks where people have used like vacuums to get the dirt out, like the dust, when it's like not bathing season, because it's not bathing season here. Go get your vacuum. I know, I think that'd be cool. This is why we don't have horses with long manes. Everybody is against Gracie's long mane. Yeah. Everyone. Because mm -hmm. it's bad. It's spring. <laughs> there you go. In fact, there's two. It's actually winter. Yeah, it is actually winter, but it feels like spring.
food for horses. You guys know that. I don't understand it. People say like, do this, this, and this, and it seems like Chinese to me. But with the positive reinforcement training, that's a language I understand. We're making so many mistakes, but recently, I feel like I was always on the fence about positive reinforcement training. Like, is it right for us? I was having some problems with it that I didn't understand, but the more I look into it and the more I read into it and the better we do with it, the more I understand it and it actually speaks to me. It speaks to me in such a profound way. I left a comment recently, I think on Facebook, and it said basically when you do positive reinforcement training, it spoils your horse. It's the same for kids. And that's what's really interesting to me. Oh, sorry, it's okay, it's okay. The truth is I was raised in a very traditional way, although my parents were very conventional and but also lenient, but also strict at the same time. Like they were, I feel like I had really good parents. Um, I was really strict with my boys, like so strict. I wanted them to always be proper and do the right thing. But when they grew up and I saw what it did to them, what that kind of parenting did to them, it made something in me, it made something in me change. And I wanted to try it differently with my girls. And I swear I use positive reinforcement training with my girls, or at least a variation of it. And I love the reaction. I love how it's turning out for them. So for us to do it with our horses, has been phenomenal. Wow, that was good. I know it's super controversial, but it speaks to me. And I think that's all that we're meant to do in life is to do the things that speak to us. Anyway, what do you guys think? She goes in the trailer all the time now. Every single time I ask her, she goes in on her own terms though. She goes slow, she checks it out, and she walks slowly up the ramp because it's not her favorite thing. She found a way that's comfortable for her and that's what she does. And I'm okay with that. I'm still nervous though. I'm still nervous that she's gonna decide not to go on when we're away. Okay, so we're headed to riding lessons and I want to thinking all day about my most proud moment in my equestrian journey. I was thinking about it today, I was thinking about it yesterday, I've been thinking, I've been wanting to tell you guys for a long time, but I keep forgetting about it. So I was thinking about it today and I have to tell you today so I don't forget. But in the summertime when we went, or in the fall, when we went on all those trail rides with our friends, you guys know that in the past, Penny was nervous with us anytime a horse would run up behind them. Like anytime horses were running around her, she would get nervous and, and I was always nervous that she was gonna like run off and stuff. So even when I was riding her, if horses would run up behind her, she would run off a little. Anyways, when we went on the trail ride this past fall, there was a point where Julie was riding Gracie and Gracie, and she wanted to gallop her up a hill. She wanted to canter her up a hill. I had already cantered Penny up at the at, up the hill and I was standing at the top of the hill and Julia was next and she wanted to go up and I didn't know how Gracie was gonna be and I was more scared about how Gracie was gonna be than I was about Penny running off. But it wasn't even just that. I felt so much confidence coming from Penny, Penny herself. Like Penny on the trail, is a totally different horse. She's like a, I know this, this is my life, I'm the boss of this. Like she takes charge and she loves everything about it. And that confidence that she had rubbed off on me. So I stood at the top of the hill and I turned around so I could film. And I said, okay, Julia, you can't interrupt this hill and Penny's here, she'll block Gracie from running off with you. So Penny's here and we'll block her. And I've been in positions before where like other people have done that for me. And here I was being like the one in charge and the one that was like using my horse to keep somebody else safe. My experienced horse with her not experienced rider keeping her safe. It was just such an amazing moment because Julia cantered up that hill and then Penny just stood there. She didn't even move. She was like, I could feel like she was like, okay, Gracie, get behind me and let's go. Like, that's my most proud moment as an equestrian so far. Like that, that was the most amazing moment that I had. Don't you know that you're beautiful?